Yeah, good morning subscribers. Um, thank you. I'm so excited. I've, I've got over 900 subscribers now, which is just absolutely amazing. Uh, maybe this year I can make it to 100, uh, 1,000. Uh, perhaps it, you can help me do that. Anyway, uh, I know it's been a little while, but uh, I thought I'd give you um, an exercise that I like to do. It's just a pattern that I use for uh, especially palm mute technique and this is a really good pattern just for minor chords okay because in the left hand it requires minimal movement and basically you're just going to play in the pocket around the, the between the fifth and seventh fret so what I'm doing there is I'm fretting the A, and then I'm playing it, I'm doing that with my thumb, and then I'm playing a dead note with the D string, uh, and, sorry, not the D string, the A string and the D string, to so get that kind of triplet. And then I'm plucking the G and I'm playing a, a dead note with my thumb on the D twice so that's the first movement All right. Actually, this is a whole lot more complicated than I than I thought. Um, to be honest, I never really um, kind of sat down and just uh, uh, practiced this really slow. Um, and now that I do it, it's actually quite complex. So I'm going to put this in the advanced uh, category uh, because for right hand technique, it's advanced. The left hand, though, it's quite simple. Um, so let me take you through the the right hand technique. Um, Basically, with the palm mute, as you know, you're going to rest your your hand very lightly just across the beginning of the bridge. That's where I prefer, anyway, uh, the front of the bridge. And you're going to make it so that your thumb can access the bass strings, uh, at least the low B, E, and A. And your other fingers, your first and second finger, are going to access the D and G string. So when you play just the open strings, you should get a muffled sound like this. You should be able to hear the notes, but you should get a muffled sound. I'm just uh, resting my palm lightly, the very edge of my palm lightly across the front of the bridge there. Anyway, so this groove um, is based thumb on the A, I'm going to thumb the A, and I'm going to play two dead notes on the, on, the, on the A string and the D string. The dead notes are articulated partially by this hand as well because they're, it's still resting across the string lightly just to so you get the dead note. So that's the first movement. The next movement is to play the G and then after the G you're going to play a dead note, you're going to play the octave A on the D string and then you're going to play an open E And then you're gonna gonna pluck the A twice with your thumb. And then you're gonna play two dead notes again. I'm plucking the D and then the A. And then here I'm gonna use my third finger to play the C, the minor third, and then D G, uh, C A G. Sorry. So that goes. And 
dead note after that. And then we're going to repeat the pattern, but at the end of the pattern, instead of playing the, the, the C, A, G, we're going to just pluck a chord twice. And that's just the minor, that's just the seventh and minor third. So that's on the fifth fret. Everything, virtually everything is between the fifth and seventh fret on here. And once you get used to this exercise, you can then drive it a little bit harder or even slap it. Right? Let's hear it with a beat. Okay, uh, I'll just put on. Okay, so So that's how the pants sounds in time. And let's recap very, very slowly. I'll get up a little bit closer to the camera now so that you can see the right hand a little bit more clearly. So that's, uh, that's the little drill for today. Um, it is really uh, maybe quite hard to get used to. Um, I got these picking techniques mostly from playing guitar because I, I, I'm a guitarist as well as a bass player, so although primarily a bass player. But, um, so they might feel a little unfamiliar to you, um, but a lot of these techniques can translate very well to slapping it. as well. You know, these patterns can translate very well to slapping, so well worth learning. Um, and I would uh, learn to transpose it as well. So it's a really, for the left hand it's very easy, for the right hand it's very hard. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions about that, let me know. I hope I sufficiently slowed it down enough for you and explained that clearly enough for you to get the hang of it. Um, I've tabbed it out. It's on my website if you're interested in getting the tabs. Okay, so that's it for me today. And again, thank you very much to all these new subscribers I got recently. It's just shot up from 800 to 900 in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm very grateful to you guys for watching and spreading the word. Um, I look forward to bringing you some more licks and ideas and tricks.
and stuff, and bass technique. Okay, take care, have a good one.